In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the IP Config Tool version 4 on your Mac. Uh, I've already downloaded the version 4 tool. I'm going to double click on it to extract the zip file. And here on my desktop, I have the Config Tool. This is the program you'll be needing. You can discard the rest of the file if you don't need it. Once you double click on the program, uh, granted you don't have a antivirus blocking your uh, operating system and this program from sniffing your network and you're properly connected to the network where your cameras are connected and your NVR is connected. Uh, as soon as the program launches up, it'll scan your network and show you what's connected. Here I can see that I have an IP camera that's connected at an IP address of 192.168.1.108 and an NVR at, at the such IP address. And it also lists me the MAC addresses. The MAC addresses are helpful in cataloging the different hardware and its uh, signatures. So I, if I want to change the IP address of my device, I'm going to click on Modify IP. I'm going to select that device and hit the Modify IP. You have a choice of either setting a DHCP, which is dynamic IP addressing, which you should not be doing if you're connecting it to your network over your own PoE switch. Regardless, a camera should be specified a static IP so that if the power goes off and they turn back on, they have the same IP address. In this case, I know the IP address I want to configure I'm experienced enough with networking to know what to put in here. So if you know what values to put in, uh, it's pretty simple. Let me first enter them in and I'll explain. I'm My router and or my gateway is an IP address of 192.168.1.1. My subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. I know that because uh, I know my net network well and if I do IF config, that's the value I get. So to show you how I got to that value, we go into applications, search for a terminal, and do IF, and it will list you your current IP address for your computer. And in this case, my computer's IP address is 1.55, 192.168.1.55. And I know, based on that, and my router IP being 192.168.1.1, that's the uh, subnet mask I should be putting in, because here it ends in 255 here as well. And then the start IP, I, that's the IP address of this one single device I want to assign. So right now it's on 108, I want to assign it 109, and press OK. As long as you have not changed the username and password of your camera and it's still the default admin admin, this program will log in, change the IP address, and give you a uh, success message here as shown here. If your username and password was different, it will not be able to log into the camera and will give you an error message. So make sure you, your default IP is still, your default username and password is still admin admin on that device. Questions or comments? Use the discussion box below the article.